We've got some Nintendo news bits today for the 3DS and the upcoming Wii U. Hi, I'm Scott Jones and this is your Press Pause Daily. Nintendo announced a few weeks back that they would start releasing digital versions of big new releases in the eShop. That also looks to include a few third-party games as well, and we now have a short list of some of those titles. During an E3 investor presentation, Nintendo President Reggie fils said that we've got a massive list of AAA content on the way from all the biggest names in gaming that are all proven franchises, all exclusive to our platform and all coming to stores both in physical and digital formats in the second half of 2012. He then showed a slide that confirmed many of these games, including first party titles New Super Mario Bros. 2, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, and Paper Mario Sticker Star. It also showed off several third party titles, including Kingdom Hearts 3D, Castlevania Lords of Shadow Mirror of Fate, Scribblenauts Unlimited, and Epic Mickey Power of Illusion. It's nice to see Nintendo making an effort to give players more choice in how they get their games. It's definitely a step in the right direction, and we hope it goes well for them. In other Nintendo news, a few tidbits have come out about their next home console. During E3, they announced that the new console would support up to two Wii U gamepads, but announced that while it would support it, it won't do so right out of the gate. Reggie told Gamasutra that games need to be built that can take advantage of the two gamepad controllers. It's going to be well after launch for those game experiences to come to life. A tweet from company president Satoru Iwata revealed that there is a limitation of using two gamepads because the second one would cut the frame rate in half due to the extra work the console needs to display on both screens. In a bit of positive news though, Nintendo stated that they plan to open up the social Miiverse platform beyond the confines of the console. Players will be able to access the Miiverse from a computer or mobile phone, it will give them access to information as well but it will also let them purchase games and then place them in a queue to be delivered to the console later. While we still aren't completely sold on the new system, it looks like Nintendo is at least trying to make the new experience as user-friendly as possible. If they can pull it off, it does bode well for the system in the future. All right, thanks for watching this episode of Press Pause. If you want to watch any of our past episodes, just go to presspause.mevio.com, watch to your heart's content, and we'll see you again on Monday.